Hey, right. Last time I was with Jamie, roommate, really good roommate actually. Both store, both store, both snore. Oh, yeah, so, but we work it out. We could nullify yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mentioned a little bit about Jamie's boxing. Um, do you want to just tell everyone the story about your like? Time? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do it briefly. Cause yeah, it's a long story. Right. Okay. But effectively, I was uh, 18 years old. Uh, and Saracen sent me down, they were like, right, you need to toughen up, you need to get fitter. I was yeah. like, yep, agreed. Right, let's go. <laughs> check, yeah, yeah, check, 100% agreed. Door, not required. Yeah, 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 so anyway, so I was like, right, fine. They sent me down to the local boxing club. Um, and it was going well, mate, like, you know, it was all going very well, swimmingly, some would say. Right, um, okay. So and... you thought you, you maybe picked the wrong career? No. Yeah. Didn't go that but way. were you like, <laughs> or, <laughs> or were you like, you know, like getting good? To good no, I was getting, I was getting good. So I, I had gone for about three or four months, um, right. getting quite good. And and the like, people come over and go, whoa, no professionals. And you went, well, yeah. not. And they go, well, you should be stuff like Guilty. that. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> making a rest. You're yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, so and then they were like, look, you need, you're getting all right. So you know, we think it'd be a good idea if you sparred someone. And I was like. Oh no, that's not really what. Like, I don't think Saracens would be too keen on it. They basically, wow, the academy, manager, up, the academy so. manager at Saracens was basically like, "Get up!" <laughs> so anyway, so um, so basically, but every time I go, because I used to go after school, every time I went, it was like with eleven-year-olds and like all this stuff. So I was like, I'm not going to spar against. Well, you beat a few of them up. I will you not. Big. I will not punch a child. <laughs> so, um, well, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's uh, not. We're not advocating no, any punch child. No, don't not. punch children. <laughs> Um, and this is in a boxing arena and it's allowed. Okay, yeah. So, um, so like another couple of weeks went past and they were trying to find someone to come in and spar yeah. against. And uh, then one day I was there and um, basically this bloke walked in. I didn't have a clue who he was. Right. But everyone sort of like stopped and was like, oh, no way, no way. So like, I was like, oh, who's, who's the bloke over there? And then um, they were like, oh, it's uh, this guy's just come back from the Olympics. He won gold right. at the Olympics. He's, a, he's just turned professional. When, you know, we haven't seen him since he's got back from the Olympics. I was like, oh, fair play. Like, you can't right. mention his name just to save face. I'm not going to mention yeah. his name, yeah. Um, <laughs> so anyway, he, he comes in and I, I meet him and uh, the bloke who had been training me was like, oh, mate, would you mind, like, Jamie's looking to spar against someone, but he's never done it before. Would you mind, like, showing him a few, few things just, um, you know, just to get him sorted before, you know, he starts sparring properly? And I was like, well, like, no, there's not a chance I'm getting in the ring with this. Because old feather mitts. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, that like, but and then he was like, no, no, it'll be fine. Like, we'll just do body shots. He, he won't really hit you. Like, it'll just, yeah. it'll sort of show you what to do and and whatever. The bloke seemed like a really nice guy. So uh, I was like, look, all right, fine, no dramas. Like, I'll get in the mix. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, genuinely, this actually happened. Okay. So <laughs> I get in the ring with him and like, for, so we did like three three minute rounds and we got through the first one fine. He was just like sort of showing me some stuff. It was pretty cool. Um, because obviously that's like the first time I'd done it, and then the next the next round came in, and he was like, he was like, yeah, yeah show me this. I think you got to do this. So I ended up like getting a bit carried away, and I banged him in the stomach because he wasn't expecting it. And I threw the haymaker, mate. Right. Feather mitts must have yeah. connected a SpongeBob feather mitts, yeah, exactly. <sighs> yeah, and I yeah. smashed him straight in solar plexus, yeah. and it obviously winded him a bit. And he was like, so then suddenly, mate, I just saw this like red mist come over his eyes, like he had just he was just gone. He started like storming around the ring, like back and forth, and I was like. Sorry, sorry, like, mate, mate, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Literally, next next thing I know, the bloke comes over and just goes, bang, 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 bang! Literally, <laughs> game over, mate. Like, game over. Knocked completely out. Completely knocked out. Yeah. And I, and I happened to wipe myself. Okay, okay, let's just, let's just clear this up. Okay, he got knocked out, and then he pissed his pants. And just tell everyone what the first thing you saw when you, you opened your eyes. Someone mopping his piss up. That's not true. Room. That's true. <laughs> That's not true. true. Bit of spice. No, Bit of well, spice. <laughs> don't let the truth get away a good story. I heard that you woke up, literally, someone was mopping your piss up off the canvas. You literally took the gloves off, only a packed your bag, baby. packed your bag, and just walked straight on out and never went back in. I did never go back. That was the last time. But, but I'm one and oh. Technically, it's a, it's a knockout, no body shit, no face shots. I'd be an Olympic champion. There you have it. Unbelievable man, great roommate, not a fighter, but a great lover. We'll leave it there. <laughs>